Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, and today I'm finally going to be doing a iHeartGeckos unboxing and review, and also a how to install their conversion kits. So I've been planning on making this video since, like, October? So we're going to start off with a rewind to October. I'm going to show you how I did pips, and then we're going to fast forward to this month, and I'm going to show you how I did a horizontal one for queso. It's here! I apologize for the lighting, but it's very dark and gloomy outside and rainy, but we're gonna open this thing. So we're gonna go ahead and open this and take a look. Make sure that it came in one piece. There's my scissors. Can't keep track of anything in this apartment. Do you guys notice my Halloween pillows? Do you remember them? For you OG subscribers, you'll remember that I bought these last year in my Halloween haul. Now there's a throwback video. There we go. All right, so this is the I Heart Geckos conversion kit for a 20 gallon long. Turn sideways for crusted geckos because that is what Pip is going to be doing. All right. Get that out of the way. Ugh. All right. That's just a sticker thingy. All right, here is the drawer. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. This glass. I don't see any cracks or damages. It's got vents, as you can see. It's got vents up here and some down here. And then it's got a door on hinges with three little turning latches on the side, a little doorknob. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to install this. I'm so freaking excited. Look at that. It's beautiful. All right, so the next update I will give you guys will be when I install it. Okay, so today's the day we install the door. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And yeah, so I'm super pumped. I've got the background done on her enclosure. So it's time for the door. So we're gonna put it on, see how it looks. I just took off the packaging. Look how beautiful it is. I'm so excited. So more or less what we gotta do is we line it up and stick it on the tank. And then what we're gonna do is use this Loctite, this clear silicone. You wanna make sure it's waterproof and aquarium safe. I got this right at Home Depot. Like literally you can go right to Home Depot and get this. So they probably have it at like Lowe's too. So make sure it's aquarium safe. You want it to be safe for your animals. And we're just gonna use this and go right along the edges. And then I'm gonna put on a glove and use my finger to smear it to kind of smooth it out. And then we're gonna let it sit. Okay, so all the sides are silicone now, and I'm just gonna take my finger and smooth it out. All right, so it is on now, and we're just gonna let it cure. Um, I'm not gonna put her in it for a while because I still have to get the substrates and everything. So it's plenty of time to cure and air out. But that is what it's looking like so far.
Hello, this is present day Zoe. Ignore her dirty glass, it needs to be cleaned. But this is what the doors now look like. I love them. These work really well. You just unhook these and then the door opens. So I love them. I'm not gonna show you Quesos because I haven't put out the video for Quesos Bioactive yet, but know that it's working just as well and I love it. So if you guys wanna check them out and get a conversion kit so you can repurpose those um, fish tanks or glass tanks to make them front opening, I will leave the link in the description below. And as always, thank you guys so much and we'll see you for the next video.